Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and I'm going to show you guys how to paint an arc. Now, I'm not a speaker or a video editor, so this is going to be really rough, so just kind of bear with me. Now, the first thing you guys need to know is that arc is not a good painter for line art. So, like, my Oni Demon banner is not a good design to try to paint because it's a huge pain in the ass. You're better off looking for something with layers, kind of like the Io emblem, the snake, or the wolf moon. The Captain Morgan and the Conan the Barbarian banners aren't as difficult as the Oni banner just because there's no line art. It's still, it's still just layers, but it gets real intricate and detailed that it can take a long time. They're not really difficult, they're more tedious. The easiest way to find an image to draw from is to check Google Images. Using the clip art filter will give you a bunch of pictures that don't have line art and should be relatively easy to paint in arc. I'm taking this picture from Hell of a Boss, the Immediate Murder Professionals logo. Now since this is widescreen and the banners are not, you're going to want to edit the picture it kind of makes it a little bit easier to get it in the general shape I just use MS paint and just reshape the canvas to a 1 to 1.33 aspect ratio and that that'll give you a better idea of how it's actually going to look on to the art canvas now the colors we got here looking at this image there is gray black red and white before you start painting, you're going to want to test your colors to see what they look like on the medium that you're painting on. Do a little palette painting just to see how the colors look against each other and whether or not it's going to be worth using them. For the most part, white and black are really hard to work with depending on the medium. White on banners obviously is not going to show up well. You'll be better off just painting with the eraser. This can also be seen on this Jolly Roger billboard. I drew using the eraser because white doesn't show up on the billboard, kind of like the flag. Once you get the color palette situated, check your image and figure out how your layers are going to work. What you want to do is work back to front. So we're going to paint the background gray, then we're going to do the red circle and the red letters, then the black letters. We're going to fill in the white on the M, then we're going to do the gray ring in the cir red circle, and then we're just going to detail the spots after the fact. The way the cursor works is that if you want to paint a lot of area, you zoom out and use the thick brush. To paint your background a little bit faster, you can tilt it to increase the size of the brush rather than just looking at it head on. There are some areas you can't paint these white splotches, that white L in the top left and those two spots in the bottom left are unable to be painted over. I don't know why, that's just how it is. You can also paint the tops and bottoms if you want to be a little more perfectionist and not have a bunch of white splotches. Now we paint the circle. This is kind of like how I sketch in real life, you just keep spinning it around and erasing and shaping it up until it starts to form. Now when painting the letters, gauge where they sit on the canvas in relation to the circle. They're kind of about halfway down and tilted. It really doesn't matter how thick you make the letters because the black is going to go over it. making the little flares on the edge of the brush strokes for the letters just use the lines and make little dashes out from the red and then you can use the gray to dash a little bit in to give it a more natural look
lamb is going to be right in the circle. And since curves are hard, just keep making dashes and then just erase until it looks smooth. Now we're still going to use the black to trace the legs, but we're not going to fill them in all the way. Draw the stripes where they should be, fill them in as needed. And now this is where we start drawing with the eraser. And this will actually make your paintings cheaper to duplicate because that's just one less die that you have to worry about. And the ring is just the same procedure as everything else. Just go around until you, it looks good, erase with the proper background color, and then just keep drawing over it and it'll eventually start working out. It might take a minute because these small details are incredibly tedious and you're basically drawing pixel by pixel. And there it is. That eye is a little small and the spot is off center, but you know, I'll touch that up later. This is more just showing you guys how to do it. I'm not trying to be perfectionist right now. Now if you want to save your paintings, just pull your paintbrush out and click save paint in the top left. Give it a name. And to test it, pull up another banner. load it up make sure you got all the colors and load and when, and when it comes out then you know you got it and remember to save often every time you log out and every time you get a major layer done like after the background save after the circle save after the letter save you know you don't want to lose your progress if your game decides to revert after you decide to quit. This isn't meant to be a paint along, this is more just to show you how to paint on ARC using the tools that they give you. And that's about it. So thanks for watching, I hope you learned something.